बसमीम असल वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम सलमान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दी कॉन्स अकेडमी बायरिया सोल्यूशन वेलकम टू आर न्यू वीडियो सीरीज दैट इज माइक्रो सर्विस आर्किटेक्चर एंड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन इट इज़ वेरी डिमांडिंग एंड वेरी so mostly all the back end engineers should get familiar with this architecture because uh, in these days as, as i experience the monolithic architecture is getting obsolete and the most probably many of the companies has been shifted to this microservice architecture so the date is uh, today is 29th uh, june 21 and the overview is that we are going to uh, develop the microservice architecture and our objective will be to write very clean and uh, better code architecture and for this i have chosen an example which is quite very interesting as the uh, era of uh, social media is right now going on as we daily use instagram facebook twitter linkedin and so many other social apps so i took an example similar to that so this would be make the interest of my audience so if you haven't subscribed my channel then i assure you this series is going to really beneficial because i have written a very neat and clean architecture uh or little to microservice so in actually i designed the three goals right now maybe i will be extending this uh, as per my recorded videos i have developed these th three things first i have developed a comments service that is uh, 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 the database is mongodb and the other uh, service is the post service the normally user creates a post that could be anything uh, image or video you upload or a status you upload on the facebook like uh, whatever you do on the linkedin and the same thing so the second point is to develop a post service by using the different database that is postgres sql and the third service will be a uh, user service in which i'll be managing the user entity and all the things which is related to user uh, and the database will be the sql server okay now let's just come back to this what is this microservice basically i am very precising the theoretical concept because we are uh, willing to uh, or do the practical work so let's just very minimize all the theory right now so uh, in very sim uh, brief manner i explain this the microservice is nothing microservice are the small services that work together only by this example you will easily came to know that what is micro this is the monolithic architecture normal trending application which we have been working on a uh, application which has only one database and normally we have been working on the sql server whenever we use uh, asp.net or c sharp there is a user interface and behind uh, with the user interface the middle uh, where is business logic where we use all the apna uh, business logic and the last one is the data access layer which uh, normally communicated with the database but now in microservices what we will do in monolithic all the you know entities and everything are combined in this business logic is, there are many things to write uh, the your drawback of the uh, monolithic is this uh, if your one features get down let's suppose if we develop this uh, social app by using monolith and suppose there is a bug in the comment or there is the you know code breaking in comment section so your whole code will your whole application will be break but in microservices let's just suppose microservice 1 is the comment microservice 2 is the post service microservice and or maybe the last uh, you consume is the user service if there is something uh, fishy or error or problem with your user service your comment won't be affected so this is one of the major benefit that i realize ever for uh, by using the microservice and in this what is uh, will be happening all these microservices are will be talking to each other according to the business rule or business logic and there will be a one user interface and uh, will deploy all these uh, microservices on different uh, host or on different domain or different host by using docker we'll use the docker comp compose for that 
and we'll use a gateway oscillate API gateway later and right now you just have to remember the principle of microservices the first one is the single responsibility per principle the single responsibility principle means that uh, in the comment uh, like suppose I have developed a service uh, comment so in if I put something uh, related to post in the comment service then this will be the violation of single responsibility principle single responsibility principle means uh, if the comment service uh, is developed only the comment he will be delivering only the comments not any other part post or user or anything this is the uh, one basic and first principle of the microservice the second is the modeled around the business domain so the second benefit is that you can use or choose any database there is no you know stack restriction as you can see for the first service I'm using MongoDB because comments are very you know uh, frequent so I choose to uh, select uh, the database uh, which is no SQL better uh, comparative to SQL server which could be very costly in that case so the second benefit you can see the third one is the isolated failure as I explained that if this service is down this won't be affecting this one or this one or the uh, another benefit you can see uh, you can divide your team in uh, a different numbers and the first team will be working on this second will be there working on this and the law and one is working on this so there will be a parallel development you won't be if, if you are uh, following this then all will be you know making mess and deploy independently all of the microservices will be deployed independently and the infrastructure automation is related to the scripting environment uh, in which we can configure one node and similar to then uh, by using that scripting environment we can configure many nodes like uh, if I configure for one then the same in, uh, scripting environment will be configuring all the nodes so that's all for the theoretical uh, point of view and let's just come back to the code what we are going to in the, um, uh, do in up our upcoming videos first uh, the next video will be related to uh, the models first we'll create the request and response model and then we'll do the repository layer and then in the next video we'll do the service layer and then in the next video we'll use auto mapper to map and then we'll create the controllers then we'll configure the startup file and in the last we'll deploy on the by using the docker compose as you can see uh, it's already deployed uh, the comment api is already deployed right now and it's running on port 800 and its database is also containerized so i hope this uh, series will be very beneficial so I repeat again, please do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.